Yes. Mm -hmm. um, there's this concept that um, I don't really know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, for every individual that is in the military, you know, that thinks that paying the highest housing prices because of the joint base infrastructure of the United States military, yes, the thought of doing administrative work because most of the military is administrative, yeah, in the poorest communities of the United States so that you could save more money, yes, for retirement, yeah, I'm living the pipe dream. Now, for all of those that thought, well, I'm going to do the 20 years, uh -huh, and uh, moving to any community, yeah, and being a part of that community because of the natural disaster known as the age of the nation. <laughs> See, these fairgrounds, uh, they could be staging areas for any uh, natural uh, emergency. Yes. Now, um, I think that America needs to be stimulated from the defense budget. Poop. And all of those Navy personnel that say, well, we need to be close to the sea. Of course you do. If I looked at the actual ocean that surrounds the United States, there's the Pacific Ocean on the West Coast. Yep. There's the Atlantic Ocean on the East Coast. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you have the Gulf of Mexico on the southern part. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How close do you need to be to the ocean to be able to get on a ship? Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of those in the military, they'll probably have to commute. And you have a lot of vans in the military. <laughs> you know, I had noticed, and I don't know if it's true or not, that the United Nations had quite a few vans themselves. <laughs> Why don't you get me the employees of the United Nations again? Because as I understood it, it was the National Guard. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Homeland Security. Yes. And the United Nations were all going to make the United States military fight wars over there. Yes. And they would not allow for the Department of Defense to spend their money on improving the infrastructure of this nation. <clears throat> so that if somebody invaded the United States, the military would not have plan B on how to deal with the situation. <laughs> now, when you spend that time, it might take a year or two fixing the place up. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And having an office of coordination that happened to be staffed by the all volunteer military mm -hmm, that actually lived in the communities that were working on a computer and working with the building codes. Yes. Getting the blueprints and all the necessaries. Yes. You know, I think a lot of counties need to have that influence of the United States Army where they walk into the courthouse and say, well, we decided that it's of national security, yes, <laughs> that we're going to fix up the fairgrounds and we're going to need these building permits and we're going to need this blueprints and we're going to need to know what's under. <clears throat> now, the thought is that all the wars that we're ever going to fight will be over there. Yes. And Homeland Security, poop. I think they're unnecessary. <laughs> they were started because of September 11th and in, two, was it 2003? Yeah. They got her going, did they? <laughs> the 72 fusion. Why don't you give me every location of Homeland Security and the approximate trillion dollars we spent on them? Yes. Because, excuse me, <laughs> it seemed that because of a terrorist attack on the United States of America, <laughs> We spent a trillion dollars building an infrastructure where they were going to fight the war. Yes. Yes, yes. And we are very terrorist focused. <laughs> now, um, I know, okay, that when you enlist in the military and it's volunteer, you get a monthly paycheck. Yes. You go through the boot camp. Yes. And they say, I'm so sorry. You're going to have to move to the poorest communities of this nation. Mm -hmm. And they might change the actual length of time that you are stationed there. Yes. It would be five years for those that are administrative and two years for those that are active duty warfare. <clears throat> now, for a lot of families being involved in the communities where they wear their uniform to work mm -hmm. and to the store. Yes. And they wear their uniform to the public schools. Yes. <laughs> in fact, they just love wearing their uniform. I'm in the Navy. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> See, these sheriffs seem to think right now that the United States military does not have any jurisdiction to make sure that the infrastructure of this nation doesn't erode so that they are prepared in the event of war. Oh, 
Now, for those that like being stationed at one location for five years, <laughs> buy yourself a house, which make improvements. Oh. And then you get restationed to another one of these very poor communities and you sell your home for a small profit, Pooch, put a down payment. You know, four different times over the next 20 years, you could make housing increase size. Oh, look at that. You keep having kids, you stupid fuck. Mm -hmm. See, you, you start out with that little, oh, and then you, oh. And then all of a sudden, oh, and by the time you retire, you've got a million dollars in, in retirements. Yes. You get rid of that house that um, you used to grow those kids. Yeah. And you get that government pension from the United States military. And all you did was sit there at a fucking computer for the next 20 fucking years. Because that's really what you're going to do. <laughs> Now, it looks to me like we just don't understand how today's military really works. <laughs> I think that we should actually involve the military in improving the infrastructure of every county of the United States. So, <clears throat> just get me the fairgrounds right now. Okay, Sarge. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs>